this is New York. You can have whatever you want. Yeah, that's it's cool. all available, and you can rent it all. Yeah, yeah. So we don't have to spend a fortune. Well, we can't do that because we yeah. don't have a fortune. Dan's offering to fulfill all of Joanne's Mad Hatter catering and decor requests at a last-minute knockdown price of two and a half thousand pounds. It looks like the boys have found their fairy godfather. So you're asking what we can provide. The truth is, we can help you do absolutely everything, but that would be cheating. So despite an asking price 500 pounds higher than Joanne has left in the budget, he goes for broke, hiring a fairy godfather to grant his wedding wishes. Now he has to work out how he's going to pay for it. Come, they told me With rings, flowers, bridesmaids' dresses and more still to buy, Joanne's thinking the unthinkable. He must go cap in hand and ask his wedding guests for money. I haven't actually got enough money to pay for the venue so I, I'm gonna to have to ask people like if they can pay their way I think that's the realization yeah I, I don't see how I can do it otherwise without asking for some money back today's judgment day isn't it yeah we've got to tell the um, families that they got a cough up or they're not coming and effectively they're not only not coming there's no wedding if they don't cough up mm. He's asked Alice's dad and brother in Plymouth and his older sisters and mum in Brighton to stand by for a very important video call. They have no idea what's going on. Hello, Keith, Nick, future family-in-law. Let alone that they're flying in three days. Right, so this is... The long-awaited invite. Basically, the <gasps> wedding is going to be this Friday. Yay! Friday? Oh, my God. The thing is, it's not going to be in England. What? <laughs> in New York! Oh my God! It's not gone down well with everyone, in particular older sister Sophie. Joanne, can I just say I've got my kids. You've got your kids. Yeah. So what's going? What what's happening? We'll have to work something out for someone to look after the kids. Oh, so they're not invited then? I couldn't invite everyone. We have spent the whole budget now. My God, it's a good job you don't work for me. Going over budget to that extent. I've still got quite a few things to, to pay for. Basically, the, the reason I couldn't invite everyone is because each person has cost me £500, and I was kind of hoping that you might be able to help me out with that money. No, you can get stuffed on there. I mean, it's a pretty sweet deal, really. Basically, you're going to get flown to New York. You actually want £500 off each of us? I kind of need £500 off each of you, yeah. Pretty I haven't fun. got £500. He'll bank those Christmas. Basically, you guys are all flying in 48 hours. What? What? <laughs> when? What? Thursday. I'm moving house next week. We've all got... I've got to go and exchange and tomorrow. And... Oh, my God. What do you think, Keith, Nick? Can we squeeze you for 500 each? <laughs> it's a good deal. I, it's I not a good deal when you haven't got so. money. Yeah, but if you've already paid for them, you're not going to get the money back anyway, are you? No. So, so if we don't give it to you, you're stuffed. It's just Alice's wedding that you're ruined, basically. Oh, oh, yeah. oh don't, don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah, just put the pressure that on us. Yeah. Sort of oh, into it, we're going to need to get an answer out of you guys. Who, who's in for it? Wait, are you in? Yeah, we're in. <laughs> Sophie? I don't know until I check my bank. OK. Magda? I'll say I'm in, but you owe me big time. OK. See you in New York. Yeah, see you in New York on Thursday. Bye. That went all right. Sophie, Sophie nearly, <coughs> nearly disowned me, yeah. didn't she? It's a shock, and obviously I want to be there for him, but I don't know if I'll be able to. Mm -hmm.